Hi, Dave. There was a, a note that uh, Tyler Ennis and James Neal uh, have been activated. Uh, just wondering how they will s slot in tonight, uh, if at all. Uh, we'll still, uh, we're waiting on one more guy to make sure that we don't have an injury problem, but so we'll take care of that here in the next little bit. There's a chance both of them will play. Great. Uh, you found out that you have a game Friday now, and then mm -hmm. and then the Saturday game remains against Winnipeg. I mean, last time you had all those days off, it was kind of sudden. You've had a little more planning for this one, so I'm just wondering how you plan on approaching the, the week ahead after tonight. Well, we'll get home after this one. We're going to take a couple days off, and then we'll have some good practices and uh, get ready to go back on the road again. Thank you. Quinn, Quinn Phillips, Global. Hi, Dave. Um, Colby's Hi. funeral was today, obviously, you know, a pretty emotional day. Just how is the group dealing? And, and is it kind of a concern with that, a much emotion just surrounding this day? No, it was, uh, it was uh, done very well, very well. Our players all watched it on their own. And, uh, you know, there was, he, was a, he was a good man. He, he was well-liked in our room, great teammate, great friend. So, um, you know, hopefully we come out and play hard for Colby tonight. That's... You, you never know how it's going to affect people, different people, different ways. So we hope we uh, we can muster up the energy we need at the end of a road trip and uh, and try to get a win before we go home. Thank you. Jason Greger, TSN 1260. Dave, you mentioned that. Jason, you cut out here. Try again. It's Go obviously ahead. a little bit different. Uh, do you get a sense Jason, of where you're Jason, can you repeat your question? Jason, can you repeat your question? We lost you halfway through. Oh, sorry. Um, just, you know, the last time you played three and four, the, the third game was a struggle, but you've been really good usually in back-to-backs. Do you get a sense of how your team's energy level is uh, before a game like this? Well, you think about that, you know, coming off back-to-backs, but we've uh, we've talked about the schedule and getting things thrown at us you know originally the Ottawa games were supposed to be uh um you know a day in between so you get a back to back and then fly yesterday um you know we took the morning off to make sure everybody could watch uh, Colby's uh, celebration of life so you know, hopefully we got some rest today and, and we can come out with some energy but you know at the end of a road trip in 3 and 4 there's there's lots of questions hopefully our guys will answer those questions uh, Dave, with the tourists now being put on the taxi squad, um, is it safe to assume because you've only got Haas and, and Kara and McDavid, Drysaddle will go back to center tonight with Nugent Hopkins out? No, uh, we've talked about that, but Shore can play center also. And are you leaning towards one of Neil or Ennis? Because one of them has to play for sure. Do you know which one you're leaning towards first? Guaranteed. Uh, no, we'll see which. We'll see. I think. I think there's a better chance of both of them play. Perfect. Thanks. Rob Kuchkowski, Post Media. Hi, Dave. Uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins on injured reserve. Is that just uh, because there's no games next week? Can you? Can, That's uh, exactly you it. Yeah. Anything? Yeah. There's exactly yeah. it. We, he's on injured reserve for. You can put him on there for seven days. It backloads the seven days, and he'll be ready to play next Friday. So he'll be good for Friday. That's good. Um, your your first game is Vancouver. I mean, I guess this is one of those instances where you have to have total faith in the NHL to make sure that everything is safe for that situation. I don't think players would have come back and started playing in the first place if they didn't think the NHL was doing everything they could do to make it safe. So I don't think they're going to put us back in a position where it's not safe. So that's, uh, you know, you got to trust those people and they've done a pretty good job so far. So there's there should be no issues on our part in that way. Great, thank you.